So good news for those fire crews as we get into the overnight hours, those winds are going to die down, but we have a couple more hours of some very breezy conditions. Wind speeds close to 20 miles per hour. And out there right now, as we look at our canyons, even up into our higher elevations, many of you are seeing some windy conditions out there this afternoon. Fillmore, Simi Valley, Thousand Oaks, all noticing winds over 20 miles per hour. As you head into the Inland Empire, close to where that fire is burning, Riverside, San Bernardino, all seeing wind speeds in the teens. Look at Banning, winds over 20 miles miles per hour. So that will continue to be the case over the next couple hours as we head into your evening and temperatures are a little bit warmer out there too tonight. tonight. Santa Monica, Redondo Beach, nice and cool in the 70s. So we do have a warm up on the way as we head into the week. We'll break it all down in that seven day forecast. But for now, Jory and Michelle, I'll toss it back to you. OK, Shayla, thank years and that same system is what brought us that nice little cool down, but it is all going to change as we head into the next couple days. So valley areas, you can see Monday to Tuesday, we have a warm up on the way. Temperatures in the mid 90s, but only a couple days of this and then our temperatures will start to cool once again. Not too much. It is going to be gradual, but you'll notice this warm up as we head into the week. Right now, taking a live look out there. This is our Blue Ridge Sky Cam. You can see it's a little bit hazy for some this afternoon. Palmdale coming in 85 degrees sunny, so a bit warmer than what we felt out there this time yesterday, but still overall a nice cool afternoon out there this Sunday, feeling a little bit like fall for many of us. Long Beach coming in 83 degrees, blue skies, some breezy conditions though wind speeds are pretty good out there miles in the per hour along the coast moderate as we head into our inland areas and as we head into tomorrow so your monday it's going to be a very similar setup to start the day but by the afternoon you're going to start to feel those warmer temperatures los angeles starting off in the 60s nice and sunny for you you're at just shy of that 80 degree mark before noon and then in the afternoon going to make it to those 80s once again so not too hot out there quite yet but the reason we're starting to see this warm up it is all thanks to this ridge of high pressure that is starting to move on in. So we had this trough that's been with us for several days that kept our temperatures nice and cool, brought back a little bit more of that morning cloud cover and brought that storm system up to the Sierra Nevada. But as that pushes out, it's going to make way for this ridge of high pressure to build in as we head into Monday, Tuesday. So Los Angeles making it to the mid 80s. And then once that starts to break down, we get another little cool down that comes our way. All right, highs to Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday, we start that gradual cool down, but you'll still be in those mid 80s and then rounding out the end of the week in the low 80s before things start to warm up just a tad again as we head into next weekend. Valleys Inland Empire, see that thunderstorm activity return. It is a low chance, but it is there. Temperatures making it to the high 70s, staying in the high 70s through next weekend. And then finally in the deserts, 90s for the high deserts all week long, a chance to see some storm activity Thursday and Friday. And then our low deserts still hanging on to those triple digits. So feeling very much like summer there, but Jory and Michelle, a little bit of a warm up on the way. I am sorry to say <laughs> that's okay. The break was nice while we got it, and then we look forward to fall.